Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. I hope you're having a great day. Here's your unemployment update for Thursday, November 12th, 2020. The State of the Union, the whole of the jobs report. What's happening in unemployment? Find out more state, great news about the U.S. economy recovering in today's jobs report. Are we recovering? My portfolio says different. Which industry continues to struggle with low employment rates? So you probably don't want to apply there for a job. And the state that is not raising unemployment taxes to help struggling small business owners and employees, they found money somewhere else to take care of this. This could be great for your state if your state does the same. After this. For the best news and information to master money, business, life, stay tuned to this channel. Also, it pays to be here. How do you get paid? Well, Sheila Randall, make sure you reach out to us. You won the $1,100. We reached 110,000 subscribers. We got 1,000 subscribers yesterday. So if you want to win $1,200, like a tradition here, all you have to do is subscribe, like, and put a comment, and you're automatically entered to win the $1,200. We're going to pick a random random subscriber. Also, down below, grab your Weeble stock, open an account, fund it with $100, and you get two free stocks. Uh, one could be valued up to $1,400. It's amazing. People love it. But first, happy Thursday, which means it's time for the weekly jobs report from our friends at the Department of Labor. It reminds me of Mr. Rogers, right? Like, <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? I don't know. I'm just, I, did I just date myself? I did. This week's report once again displays great news for the economy. As the actual unemployment figures were lower than last week and exceeds the estimates of those Dow Jones economists because they were pessimistic, which means the market adjusted for that pessimism, and it was better than what they thought. The jobs report shows that 709,000 Americans filed their first time unemployment claims, which is down from the previous week that we reported of 757,000 uh, initial claims. Now, this is still sucks. If you're the 709,000 people who went on the computer this week and filled out a claim, that just sucks, right? That you're unemployed and that this is your first time. So let's not take the, it's so lightly as we do, we report these numbers like these aren't real people. These are real people. These numbers are real. These numbers are also, they're lower though than the 740,000 initial claims predicted by economists, which will always, will always celebrate when they're wrong in the right direction, right? Kenny Polcard from Case Capital advisors explain, quote, over the short term, the stock market is watching labor market data through the lenses of stimulus uh, prospects. Worsening jobs data strengthens the case for more stimulus and vice versa, right? More stimulus is usually welcomed by investors. Yeah, because what happens is they pour a bunch of money like punch into the economy and it spreads all over the place and it's got to find a place to go. Like I've told you many times in the stock market, what do I call it? You guys know, a liquidity meter. The more liquidity in the market, that energy has got to find a place to go. The fastest place, easiest place is to buy a stock that pays you a dividend and then you could make money off of that right now, more money than you can get in a bank account usually, as long as the stock doesn't go down in value, you're okay. So that's how it happens, although today, was a bad day on the market so it's uh but i haven't lost everything that's gone up since they announced the vaccine i agree with them they need more stimulus funds absolutely agree especially extended enhanced unemployment benefits to keep the economy in recovery mode i think it's one of the most important important pieces of it because getting a check one time compared to getting a check every week when you don't have a job is a very big difference meanwhile as we've discussed many times before, the airline industry, yeah, the friendly skies, they continue to suffer massive, massive job losses and is now poised to have the fewest number of employees since 1980 by the end of the year. Like 1980, I think gas prices, remember the gas lines and all that kind of stuff during Carter? Ooh, can you imagine? They weren't flying because of other reasons, but now it's like 
Yeah, by the end of 2020, it's expected that across the entire airline industry, 90,000, 90,000 full-time positions will be lost. Yes. So, yeah, uh, that just sucks. Southwest Airlines ex uh, explained in a statement, quote, while the company expects the election to impact trends, it is, clear, it, it is unclear whether the softness in booking trends is also a direct result of the recent rise in cases. As such, the company remains cautious in the uncertain revenue environment. I think that's pretty smart, you know? The guy, you know, he's like, he's like the main guy talking about it. So yeah, why would you want to fly right now if you don't have to fly? Is like, uh, somebody's had to give him the memo, right? When half your planes are empty and you've lost 50% of your passengers or 60. We, we need, they need another 25 billion in stimulus funds for sure. I just hope that this amazing industry, which I love flying, can get the financial support necessary to keep us safe and sound while navigating the skies. And you can look all through my YouTube. You'll see all I've been all over the world. So, and we documented, which they kind of suck, but still you get to see me there. Finally, the great state of South Carolina announced that they will not be raising unemployment taxes on small local businesses next year, right? South Carolina. This is fantastic news. A lot of people don't realize it, but a lot of these funds that have exhausted unemployment, they need money, which means they have to tax you more, right? Usually when everyone files unemployment, a lot of people don't know this, if you haven't been an employer, when people exhaust your fund, you have to add money to it. So it is horrible for a business. That's why we do everything we can to keep people as long as we can keep them because when they file unemployment, it goes against our account that we've paid into and then we have to add to it if they exhaust it. So it's not fun. While this year has been a massive financial burden on the state, South Carolina funded 920 million of federal pandemic aid instead of charging local businesses more in 2021. That is just fantastic. Governor Henry McCaster, yes, Mac McMaster is his name. Yeah, McMaster, I missed a name in there. Yes, McMaster, Henry, yeah, you should take a celebration laugh. Lap, uh, praise the unemployment tax effort explaining, quote, we're in good shape with an engine intact, except for uh, a few. We will rev them up soon and our economy is going to leap forward. Yeah, I like that. This is amazing news for both the small business owners in the state that are horrified thinking, oh my God, somebody's got to pay this back, as well as employees going, well, that's going to come out of my check, or I'm going to have to pay more for stuff prices are going to increase. So this is good. Those companies that now have more job stability moving forward, employees have more likelihood that they'll be there and prices are not going to go up on goods, right? Sounds like a win, win, and a win. That's unusual. Usually it's a win-win situation. This is a win, win, win. If you still haven't applied for those unemployments, you need to start winning today. Put down whatever you're doing. Don't stop the video and apply for your PUA and UI. Wait to the end. Uh, website, provide your information or lack thereof, your history. Let them know that you're currently out of work due to the obvious thing out there, right? For your efforts, you could get a check for $10,000, an unemployment check that you're eligible for. Backdated, of course. You know, you can go all the way back to March, which is like amazing. People say, can I, can I report that? Were you unemployed? Well, yeah. Well, report it. To all you gig workers and self-employed independent contractors, 1099 side hustlers and volunteer freelancers, remember you guys are eligible for this stuff, these unemployment benefits through the PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, and some people who fell off the U UI are now on that supportive thing in some states too. Don't miss out on this amazing chance to get the funds from the government because the government doesn't give out. They don't giveth, they taketh. So if they're giveth, Take it now because they will get it back later and you'll need the funds later to give back to them. So they expire December 31st. Keep sharing your experience with the PUA and the unemployment benefits in your state because when you share, you care. And we love seeing the comments. So please comment and it pays the comment. So why wouldn't you just put a comment, put a random comment if you want. The last winner won with literally random comment, which is like <laughs> kind of funny. Um, Sheila Randall, 
reach out, give us some love. We got $1,100 for you and we want to get it to you as soon as possible so you can start collecting that small interest we talk about on my channel, you know, by having it in a high yield savings account getting 4%. Thank you for getting us to 110,000 subscribers for the thousand subscribers that came in yesterday. Jay-Z, a quote from Jay-Z, you couldn't be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. I do. I seriously do. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. Love you. And yeah, I listen to Jay-Z. I mean, don't judge.